Women who've gone through mastectomy know it's a life altering experience. They have a range of reconstruction options or they can go flat. If they do that, they might use a silicone prosthesis. But as I learned at Mercy West, that's not their only choice. Knitted knockers and the volunteers who make them for breast cancer survivors are the focus of this Positively Cincinnati. As the bugs buzzed, Vicki Wright worked with a zen kind of concentration. Helps you relax. We found her on her front porch one late summer day in Ross Township, her knitting needles quietly clicking away. Each pair takes me about three to four hours. We're not talking socks here. What Vicki's doing is kind of a lifeline back to normal for women who will get her work. Women like Sue Yates. I find them to be really very, very comfortable. Under her clothing, Sue is wearing these. They're called knitted knockers, billed as soft, comfortable prosthetics for breast cancer survivors. They came to the attention of Dr. Anna Soboleski, a breast surgeon at Mercy West, thanks to a patient who'd had a double mastectomy. That woman learned about them at a support group and ditched her heavier silicone prostheses. When I saw her back in the office for a visit, uh, she pulled out the knitted knocker from her bra and showed me and said, this is the best thing ever. The doctor heard her loud and clear, wanting to give her survivors who opted out of breast reconstruction options. She went to the auxiliary and uh, had asked me if our volunteers would be interested in doing a project like this. They got on it, knitting all different cup sizes with guidelines. They have to be 100 percent cotton so they're soft and don't irritate surgical scars and they must be washable. Vicki loves the work. She says it's an extension of the heart of her grandma, Margaret, who taught her how to knit. She would be pleased too. It was passed down a family tradition with love. Love she's stitched into about 50 pairs. And it's soft and pretty smooth. Since she started the work last winter, that's making a difference for women who've gone flat after surgery. From an emotional standpoint, how do the knitted knockers fill a void? Now, this is a tough journey for patients, and we want to help with their self-image afterwards. And I think it's an appearance thing. It's just all in how you want to feel about yourself, how, how, how you want to look. And how you want to live. They're more comfortable. They're not as heavy okay. as, these, as the silicone. The silicone is in the closet. It's in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> women helping women. Um, that's what it's about. We're supposed to be loving and serving each other and, and we get it done. <laughs> they sure do. And all of it's a choice and options are good. We're telling this story on the eve of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The pandemic might be in full swing, but cancer doesn't stop for it. As a survivor myself, I work to make sure other survivors know what's out there. We'll be telling more stories like this in October.